finally getting over my pube phobia. Your what? You know, my pube phobia. I didn't know you had one. Well, it's actually more of a paranoia than a phobia. Seriously, I get paranoid about people seeing me naked. But I think I'm finally getting over that. That's good. Why's that? I think it's because I've started trimming my pubic hair. Not so it's stubbly. Just so, you know, there's a soft curl. <laughs> Quinn? Quinn? She did say she was going to be here, right? There's nothing worse than having bushy pubic hair. It's like the worst thing when you're putting your togs on and your pubes are so bushy that they're not sticking out the side. They're actually bouncing back when you pat them down. Oh my god, Frankie, that's so gross. Yeah, but we've all had it. Well, what's the norm for that kind of thing? Do you think she knows we're inside? She is really late. That's not unlike her, though. Hey, Poppy. What does Daniel think of going down on you trimmed? Mm, he likes it, eh? I asked him if he'd like me to go Brazilian, but he said no, nah, I wouldn't do anything for him. Yeah, no one I've ever known has had it done before. Brooke has, I think. You know, when she was bisexual. <laughs> was Brooke bi? Yeah, but you're not supposed to know that. Time to go, sweetheart. Coming. You know, Gwen's been really down lately. Like, really, really down. As opposed to just down? Let's not go there. Hey, guess what I heard? It's not that I don't believe you, it's just hard to believe. Your father loves you. You're just reading too much into it. He's just being affectionate with you. I just think you shouldn't be going about making accusations like that about your father. embarrassing moments. I got my first smear test the other day, and if that wasn't embarrassing enough, the doctor couldn't even find my cervix. He was treating it like a blimmin' puppet show. Oh, there it is. Oh no, there it goes. Oh, it just popped back into view again. Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> God, that sounds terrible. I haven't had one of those yet, but it doesn't sound like I want one either. Yeah, well, when you do, just remember to wear a skirt, because otherwise, they tell you to take your undies off, and you're left standing there naked worrying about your pubes again. <laughs> I miss her. Me too. It's not like there's a lot we can do about it. But isn't there though? We could tell someone. We promised. We can't back out of our promises, so we can't tell anyone. I don't think she'd like to walk in on us talking about it. That's true. Maybe we should just drop it. Like we always do. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Hey. Hey. Guys. hey. How you doing? Are you alright? Yeah. I think I'm pregnant. Oh my god. Does David know? 
He would, if it were his problem, but I don't think it is. It's not big. Of course it is. If it's not David's, then... Don't you think you should maybe... Well... How can you be sure? I guess I should go see. Fuck. Fuck would be the word I'm looking for right now. If it's not David's, then does she mean that it's... <laughs> yes, Poppy. But I think that's what we're all trying not to say. I feel sick. See? It has gone too far. We should have done something. Like what? Told someone. We promise. Fuck promises. Maybe we should consider how she's doing right now. think? Do you like it? <laughs> I feel like a princess. The ball? We should all read the master. So looking forward to it. Okay. It's gonna be a night where we're in for the rest of our lives. I think that's when me and Andrew are gonna do it for the first time. So romantic. So looking forward to the ball. It's like every girl's dream day. I don't really 